Hi everyone, it's Kino here. Welcome to this 20 minute yoga for pain relief, focusing on back pain. This class is really good for beginners. If you are enjoying this class, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're joining for the live stream, you're welcome to leave me some messages in the super chat. Otherwise, let's get started. Come to a comfortable seated position Close your eyes and bring your hands together. A nice long inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Check in with the quality of your breath. Check in with the quality of your mind and your emotions. And just notice how you're feeling, what the texture of thought is. Check in with how your body feels and just notice the feeling in the body. And then allow yourself a long, deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Probably the most useful piece of information that the yoga tradition has to offer you about the relief of back pain is the activation of the pelvic floor in coordination with the drawing in of the muscles of the lower abdomen. So we'll start off with that. I want you to find the muscles of your pelvic floor, which is the space between the sitting bones and all that nice personal stuff in between there, and gently activate the muscles of the pelvic floor then keep the low belly muscles drawn in, then use this as kind of a ground for every breath and for every asana. So this will help lift the spine up out of the pelvis and combat any of the feeling as though your spine drops down. So activating the muscle of the pelvic floor, lift the spine up out of the pelvis. And now we'll begin using our new length. Inhale, lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, just easy, twist over to the right. Maintain a sense of length and spaciousness through the chest and especially through the lumbar region of the spine. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Keep lifting and connecting the lift down into the center of the pelvis. We'll stay here for one more breath. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, remember your pelvic floor. Let's go on over to the other side. Inhale, lift the center of the chest and then exhale. Light, easy spinal twist over to the left. Keep it nice and easy as the navel draws in, spiraling through the spine. Keep that lift from the pelvic floor up through the center of the body and just keep spiraling over, more over. Inhale back to the center. Now we're going to do a little bit of lateral stretching, which helps release the muscles known as the quadratus lumborum. The QLs are also a source of sometimes chronic back pain when they get too tight. Some lateral stretching can help release that. Find the muscles again of the pelvic floor because that's the ground of every movement, every breath in your yoga practice. Inhale, lift the spine, exhale, lean gently over onto the right hand, exhale there. Inhale, extend the left arm and we just keep leaning gently over to the side. No need to be in a competition. Many people immediately go into, now I'm gonna lean really far over. It's really just about finding the connection in through the grounding in the pelvis and the length through the side body. You can spiral your chest a little up and see if you can find that nice little friendly hello from your left QL. Go for one more breath and then inhale, come on back. Remember the pelvic floor. Grab it and pull it in in a nice gentle way with, of course, consent. And then exhale over to the side, grounding from the right side of the pelvis. Pelvic floor is engaged. Inhale, lengthen. And so first we just kind of lean. One side might be tighter than the other. For me, this is the tighter side. So we don't need to try to force some sort of symmetry, but instead just breathe and feel kind of what is. Then reach and lengthen, lifting up from the base of the pelvis through each joint of the spine and extending 
through the rib cage and reaching powerfully up and inhale back to the center. Then as you come on back to the center, just notice how your spine feels already from these little movements. We get a little blood in circulation through the spine. It tends to be a bit happy. So then we'll come over onto the hands and knees. Rolling through now the cat and the cow motion, really grounding each action from deep in the center of the pelvis. So here we go. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, round and under. Inhale, lengthen. Find your pelvic floor. Exhale, round and pull it under. Give me one more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Now let's open the knees, grab the yoga bolster, place the bolster right between your thighs, and then we'll just gently kind of fold it down. And you can let yourself be in whatever comfortable position you're in. But using the bolster or a block or a pillow will help you kind of release when you drop down. And having the idea that your body can relax and release and drop down without needing to overdo it with the stretch is a wonderful way to encourage that sense of release that the back muscles really need. So just be there for a moment, letting the mind be calm, but remember your pelvic floor. Even if you close your eyes and completely soften for a moment, the pelvic floor is still there with you. You could do top of the head onto the bolster and then the arms down, however you like. Let's go for one more breath here. Inhale, slowly come up. And then just notice the position of the spine, rotate the tailbone under, and let's move our yoga bolster on over to the side. Now the puppy pose. Send the hips back and up and reach your hands gently forward. Exhale, top of the head reaches towards the ground and then come up onto your fingertips. Send the hips back and up and roll the shoulders away from the spine. We'll stay for five breaths. One, deep resonant breathing. Two, feel length and spaciousness coming through the spine. Three, four, almost there. Five, press into the hands. And then exhale, let's lie down on the stomach. Now we're gonna do the cobra pose. Press into the elbows and lift the center of the chest up. Cobra pose, wonderful for lengthening and strengthening the back muscles, particularly if you are caught in a little bit of a tuck position in your tailbone or if the spine feels hunched over from long hours put in at the desk or the office, a simple posture like cobra can be deeply therapeutic. Make sure you don't overdo it with the neck so it's not a neck pose, but a back pose, even though the spine continues up through the neck. Let's focus on the thoracic spine and the lumbar spine. Stay for one more breath and exhale, come on down. Now, top of the head on the ground, reach your arms forward. We're gonna do opposite arms and legs. We mean your left leg, sorry, left arm, right leg, and we'll hold for five breaths. One, two, three, nice and easy, four, and five. Exhale down, switch the sides. Left leg, right arm, one, two, steady breaths, three, remember your pelvic floor, four, and five, exhale down. Now let's lift the head up, walk your hands back, and then inhale, Shalabhasana position. Again, to strengthen the back muscles. Don't try to squeeze the back muscles, but lengthen. Five breaths here, one, belly inside, pelvic floor engaged, two, lengthen the spine, three, almost there, four, and five. Exhale, come on down. Rest for a moment. And take your hands down, curl the toes under. Inhale, upward facing as you lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing. Walk your feet in and downward facing. So our first downward facing. So let's take five breaths here. One, steady, steady breaths. Find your pelvic floor and send the sitting bones back and up. Two, three. Keep breathing, keep feeling. 
four, check in with the body, five, let's walk half the distance forward, give me a soft bend in the knees, dangle your head down, and then cross the arms over each other, squeeze the knees towards each other, even though they're hips width apart, sometimes they can point out, so we're going to squeeze them in, and then just a hanging forward fold, draw the navel deeply into the spine, one, steady breathing, to find the pelvic floor. And with the pelvic floor, you're actually lifting the hips up. Two, steady breathing. Three, just let it hang. Release, keep the pelvic floor active and strong. Four, almost there. Five, release the hands. Take the hands forward. Slowly step on back to plank pose. Give me five breaths in plank. One. Squeeze your thighs in. Two. Navel in. Three. <clears throat> Four. Almost there. Five. Let's roll over the toes. Inhale. Come up to upward facing dog. Hands are about shoulder width apart. Try to lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Now from downward facing dog, step your right foot all the way forward, planting your left heel down. Then inhale, come up, resting your right forearm on the right thigh. And really sink down here for a moment. Glide the left arm over. Hold it there, nice and steady. Keep breathing, keep feeling. Extend through that left side body so we can get again through the psoas, through the QL, as much length as possible. Spiral down, inhale, arms, exhale, switch the sides. Spiral down into the left hip joint and reach across the right side. Draw the navel in and gaze to the right fingers. Stay here breathing, feeling, extending across. Keep the mind focused inward. No fight, no force, just breath. Be here feeling almost there. Inhale, slowly come up. Turn around to the front and exhale, slide the left knee down. Open the front of the hip and we'll hold that there for a couple breaths. Open the front of the hip. Really just work that for a moment. Your mind is calm. Press into the fingertips. Slowly inhale, rise up. Hands in prayer. We'll hold the crescent lunge for just a couple breaths. Long, deep breaths. The hips are square right now as you really feel breath and body coming in to alignment. One more breath. Stay there, feeling. Then let's drop the hands down, curl your left toes under. We're not going to step back. We're going to come up to warrior pose. I want you to bring your left leg up, then turn it out so you can really get a firm foundation. Then ground down through the legs, hands in prayer. And you can stay there, or you can think about raising the arms, externally rotating the shoulders. If your legs are burning, it is okay. If it's too much, just stay with the hands in prayer. Remember the pelvic floor and lift up through the center line. Keep breathing, almost there. Exhale, let's take your hands down to the ground. Inhale, back to plank position. Feet together, press up from the shoulders. Okay, and sink the knees. Exhale, now we bend the elbows. Come on down. All the way through Chaturanga, the push-up position, and down. Inhale, come forward to upward facing, lift the chest. Exhale, roll back over the toes, press back to downward facing. Then we'll do the same thing on the left side, step the left foot forward, sink the right knee down. Stay there for a moment and just let that right hip kind of open, say hello to it. Inhale, lift the center of the chest up. Hands in prayer. Work your lunge position for a moment and just let that front of the right hip release. Open and drop down. One more breath. Find the pelvic floor and continue to lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Exhale, fingertips to the ground. Curl the right toes under. Inhale, stretch the right leg back. Then turn it out so you can get a nice firm foundation. Press down. Then inhale, hands up. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. 
stay there or extend the arms, externally rotating the shoulders. Again, if that creates stress, just hands in prayer and up the spine. Two more breaths, you can do it. Feel the strength through the legs and lift up with the spine. Last one, exhale, hands down. Inhale back to plank. Find your plank position, nice and stable. Drop the knees down, come forward. Exhale, chest towards the ground. Inhale, upward facing, lift the spine. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, sink your knees down, cross the feet. Let's stretch your legs out and come to seated position. Scoot forward on your sitting bones. Lift the center of the chest, bend the right knee, close the knee joint and hug the knee in and just an easy twist over to the right. Keep the length of the spine and at the same time, encourage a lateral stretch. Hold this for another breath. Find your pelvic floor, settle into it. Almost there, let's go for one more breath. Long, deep inhale, long, deep exhale. Back to the center, exhale, straighten the right leg. Give me the left leg, close the knee joint, drop it down, hug the knee in. Left fingertips on the ground, inhale, lift the center of the chest, and then just easy over to the left. Keep it nice and simple, no force, no fight. Find the twist through the articulation of all of the small muscles of the spine. Let's go for one more breath. Inhale, back to the center. Now, fold your legs open and take the left shin bone towards the front of the mat. Right shin bone stacks on top. If you need support, if your knees are elevated, grab some blocks, put them under your knees. We'll stay here for a few moments. This is what some people call the fire log pose that helps really release the hips. Sometimes tightness in the hips can translate to tightness in the lower back. So we'll give this for a few moments, draw the navel in, and then pivot gently forward. And you don't need to go crazy forward. If you want to, you can fold all the way down, but just a little forward, that might be enough. Again, you feel welcome to go much further down if that feels appropriate for where you are. We'll stay for one more breath here and just kind of feel what you feel without any fight, no force. Avoid rounding the back and instead just pivot inside the hip joints. Inhale, come on up, exhale there. Give your right fingers behind you. Inhale, lift across the center line and just ground down a little bit through your left hand, but be very sensitive about your right knee. We're almost there, the navel in, stay there breathing, feeling. Inhale, back to the center and exhale. Switch the legs, nice and easy, okay? Get a sense of it for a moment. You wanna reposition the blocks and go ahead and do that. Then keeping the spine as supported from the front as possible, pelvic floor through the low belly muscles, pivot a little forward and you can just hang out here for a moment. No need to force it down really low. This is more than enough. Again, if you want to, feel welcome. But I find that we're generally overachievers when it comes to the body, and less is often more. You can give the body space to just kind of reveal itself to you rather than come in with kind of attachment, force, and fight. So we try to let all that go, all these sort of uprisings of the ego. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, activating pelvic floor, gentle twists. Find the way around, nice and easy. Almost there. And just grounding a little through the right hand. Inhale, back to the center. You're gonna grab your yoga blocks, releasing the feet. Then we stack up the blocks for a reclining version of the fish pose. So take the block longwise and make sure that it's aligned with the rib cage. And then look for that upper block is like a nice little pillow. And then hands down, point the feet. And then just allow yourself to rest here for a few moments, particularly for upper back tightness and upper back pain. A few breaths here is immensely helpful. You can allow yourself to breathe and drop down, finding ease and flow, closing the eyes. 
when, allow, when you allow yourself to be here, sort of in the here and now, then your body can move into cycles of healing, the mind can move into cycles of peace and balance. You might notice little waves of tension peeling off the body as though they're melting or releasing into the ground. Stay there for a moment, and if there's discomfort, make sure it's comfortable discomfort and your body's safe, and then see if you can release resistance. Almost there. Let's go for like just a few more breaths. See if you can deepen your breath and keep connected into your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, let's press into the elbows, bend one knee, move your blocks on over to the side. And then roll the spine gently down. Hold it there for a moment. Bend your knees. Settle your sacrum into the ground. Bend the knees up into the chest. Little hug. Vipri Karani. Toes and legs up. We'll stay here for a few breaths. Keep the mind nice and calm. Deep breathing. The navel draws into the spine. Almost there. Let everything release and drop down. Feel the spine coming into alignment. Any tension that's not necessary to support the natural function of the body, just let it release. One more breath. On this last breath, see if you can let everything go. And exhale. Bend the knees and another one. Long, deep breath in. As you exhale, just let everything go. Surrender completely. Any tension in the body or the mind, let it go. Feel yourself returning to alignment, returning to your center. Diving underneath the thoughts, finding transcendent peace. If your body is in need of healing, open to and receive that healing. By stepping into alignment with your highest and truest self. Long deep breath in. As you exhale, let's move the fingers, toes, bend the knees and the elbows. Or give yourself a little squeeze in. Say to your body, hey, my body, I love you. You're good. Over to the side. Closing the eyes. Come on back up. Feel the heart center. Radiant, open, and alive. And allow the heart center to kind of expand outward to include the whole body in a field of love, healing, and compassion. Expanding infinitely outward in a field of love, healing, and compassion. Perhaps there is someone in your life that you would like to offer that frequency and vibration of love, healing, and compassion, maybe yourself or maybe another being. Just feel them for a moment. And then infinitely outward to all beings in a field of love, healing and compassion for the whole world, for the whole world. Hands in prayer. Long deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you be filled with love. Namaste. Okay. Thanks for joining everyone. Remember, if you want a little bit of extra inspiration, my podcast, Yoga Inspiration, is available everywhere where podcasts are. I'd love it if you check it out. Super. Thanks, everyone. Remember to like this video and leave me a comment below so I know you're there and watching. I'm always welcome to take requests, so definitely leave those. Otherwise, have a beautiful day. Bye.